All right, y'all. Welcome to today's vlog. Uh, it is Saturday. The I don't remember what day. Mm. I don't know. I think I have four or five more days left before I actually have to go back to work officially. Um, but today's vlog, uh, we will be going to the gym probably a little later. I'm not too sure on what time. Uh, I do need to make some more food though before I go. Uh, we're going with the Camacho Nacho, whatever. Uh, and a little bit of what I want to say at least is uh, I think I'm going to go and uh, today squats, but today I will try using the heeled shoes because I don't know. I wanted to give it a shot. It's been a minute since I've actually used them and I have a lot of pairs, so I figured might as well break them in and get some use out of it. And also I want to try high bar. Um, after the meet is over, I kind of want to experiment with some different things. I'm not too sure on what will stick, but I just, I don't know, I want to experiment. Uh, I like the concept of high bar, even though I'm really used to squatting low bar wide stance and flats and basically I'll be doing almost the opposite. I might keep the wide stance but I'm not too sure yet. Uh, we'll just have to play around with it but that's what we'll be doing today and also say hello. Oh whew, hold on let me just uh, let me just come out here and see what this looks like. All right everyone say hello to Theo. T. T. That is the tea meister himself right there just chilling on the bed like it's no big deal but yeah that's the plan for the day we're gonna chill here maybe make some food uh watching infinity war right now kind of parts of it i'm getting ready to play some of the video games for a little bit uh, i've seen infinity war like so many times and also i kind of want to know so i'm a big captain america fan right and i've been hearing lots of rumors that uh avengers endgame he's gonna die but then I've also seen rumors saying that he's not leaving. Uh, it's hard to tell because him himself, he posted that tweet saying that he, that he wanted to thank everyone, da da da, like basically saying his goodbyes. And I, I don't know. I don't know what to believe because Marvel likes to mess with you a lot. So I'm not too sure on what to believe. Um, personally, I think Captain Marvel's going to go out and save Tony Stark in outer space. And. I also feel like Captain America is going to die. And if he does, I'm going to be extremely sad. But I, like, I know it has to happen. And I just have to adjust to the new Marvel that they're going to be coming out with. But I don't want to. I don't want to. And then I walk into this, the sad part where Vision explodes the first time. Not the second time. But uh, I don't know. I still can't decide on whether he'll live or die or not. If he dies and Ant-Man stays in, I guess... That'll be my new favorite hero that is currently in the MCU. I like. I'm gonna still rock Captain America everything because he's my favorite, the best. I love him. But if for some reason he dies, logically you'd think Captain America fans would go to Black Panther. But it's I don't know. He's not. It's not the same. He's not the same. It's just there's a certain thing about Captain America, and I'm not sure. But. And the Ant-Man seems like the complete opposite of Captain America, but part of me wishes I could be like Captain America in real life. In reality, I'm probably more like Ant-Man in real life. I don't, I don't get in trouble with the law, I mean, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stop this here, and then I'll see you guys on the way to the gym with the Camacho. Oh, what should I eat? What should I eat? All right, y'all, well, just showed up to the gym. Uh, we're waiting on the Rudy because he had to go get some headphones before the gym, which, be in mind, this gym does have a boombox here and it has an iPad that has Spotify on it, Spotify Premium, be in mind. Um, I'm not really sure why he just didn't want to listen to his music in here. I don't know. But that's what we're waiting on. And also, let me see if I can find them real quick. They should be right here-ish. Oh, there they are. Uh, Broke these bad boys out today. Noble, noble lifters. We're gonna attempt to uh, do high bar squats with them, and uh, I'm not sure how it'll go. It's been a minute since I've used lifters, and also I know you're gonna be like, those are just two, those are $250 shoes. Why'd you buy that? Well, uh, I got them off a guy on eBay who collects lost or uh, I wouldn't say stolen packages. He, he uh, 
basically like he claims unclaimed packages and then resells them for a cheaper price so he sold me those for about 150 off of eBay and I got really lucky on them so I'm glad that I got those for a cheaper price um, I love these shoes it was a hard choice because I also have the uh, uh, the American flag CrossFit fucking uh, what are they called the Reebok CrossFit lifters or whatever um, the, ones with, the ones with two straps uh, the older ones, I guess. Uh, I was deciding between those and these, and I kind of was just like, you know, the the nobles just feel heavy, you know, like they'll keep me grounded. So we'll give it a shot tonight. But in the meantime, waiting for Rudy. Gonna drink some of that per workout and get in there and get to lifting. So I'll see you guys inside, all right? All right, well, this is Rudy, if you guys haven't met him before, but let's see his, let's see his squat warm up real quick. As you can see here, the Camacho goes down to the squat and he kind of uses the balancing technique. It's not very good on your knees, but you know, when you pull your shorts up that high and you wear one of those bands, you know, you just feel like a little pansy, but you know, what else can you do? And here he is, he's gonna notice. Oi, we've been spotted. We've been spotted. Slingshot. It looks like he's about to pee his pants. Mark Bell sponsored me. Crikey. Crikey. Mark Bell sponsor me. Well, just did the warm ups. Kind of just feeling out how this high bar squatting is actually going to go. Felt kind of weird, but I think I just gotta get used to it. So, we're gonna get into the actual sets. I'm not sure what I'm gonna work up to today, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, it's kind of like a deload week before I get back into like off season training. Just a chill week, kind of chill week. That's what we're getting into. Wait, hold on. Look at this. Parker, he's back at it again with weight. Oh, look at that. Look at the stretch. Oh, look at them stretching muscles. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're great for stretching. I don't know why he does that. Just got up to 405. I'm gonna try it again. I'm having issues with where I want to place the bar for the high bar. I uh, where I put it, it kind of just it really good because these bones over here, and I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But I'm gonna mess with another bar placement where it doesn't sit on there, and hopefully keep that kind of high bar-ish uh, mindset. So we're gonna try another 405 here in a second. So definitely when it comes to high bar, I do need a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Uh, that second 405 looked not as good as the previous 405. Um, and the next clip you see is the 225. <coughs> kind of just dropped down to try and just do some perfect form reps, but there's a lot I need to learn and there's probably a lot of videos I'll be watching on the YouTube. Oh, let's snoop on the Rudy, he's going for 485. I 
always does this thing where he just breathes out of his mouth really, really hard. But this is almost his max, so he has to get it. Oh, no. All right, so we're back from the gym. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it went. Uh, Still a lot I need to work on for the low bar, or low bar, for the high bar squat, for sure. Uh, the positioning feels weird. I think I just gotta, it doesn't feel weird. It just, there's, I have a little bit of pain because I'm not really used to it sitting on top of my traps and this little bone right here, which I think that's where it's supposed to go. I'm gonna watch some videos and try and understand a little bit more, maybe read some more articles and stuff uh, just on how people go about high bar squatting and then at some point I'll probably have like a how-to video on that once I feel like I've learned enough about it. My form probably won't be perfect by then but at least I will know enough about it to be able to explain it to you guys. So all in all it's pretty good. Um, the main thing I want to switch to there's like two things I'm gonna leave my bench alone. Uh, I mean honestly I should leave my squat alone but I just want to kind of just want to do something a little different on the squat and the deadlift. Um, the main thing I want to do on deadlift though is I want to get good at hook grip. Originally I was thinking I was going to do uh, sumo hook grip, but I've come to realize that I think I'm just way better at conventional in general. Um, when my back is healthy at least, uh, and I'm not going to blame that on this week currently. Uh, did some different kind of training and I went a little harder than I probably should and I knew I wasn't 100% recovered. Um, my low back was definitely feeling it on that deadlift day earlier this week, but in a little bit today, um, cause you could see in that second, the first four or five looked like it was all right. Um, my, I feel like personally, like if I could just, if I could just be straight upright the whole lift or almost straight upright the whole lift, I'd be happy. But I feel like I still have that low bar tendency where to like to lean forward a little bit, but also I just, I think I just need to work on it a lot more and just get used to the positioning for it so i'm not too worried about it honestly i know i'll get there at some point but at some point i want to get to be able to comfortably do a high bar squat and to be able to semi comfortably hook grip conventional and just go from there i don't really have any issues with my grip strength but more or less i just want to i want to even things out because i've been pulling basically this way for my, almost my whole lifting career. There's been moments where I've done it this way, and there's been moments I've tried hook grip. Uh, the most I think I've ever got up to is maybe 405-ish, if I'm if I'm lucky. I'm not too sure though, because uh, I, I really don't remember. But that's my goals for these few coming months of off-season programming. I don't know why I did that, because it is off-season programming. Uh, so I'm not, I haven't really done off-season programming, so hopefully it goes pretty well. Um, <coughs> Well, at this point, I'm going to play video games with friends, and at some point in the coming future, I need to figure out what I want to do for the how-to video for next Friday. So, I don't know. I might scroll through Reddit and see if I can find any questions that sound interesting to answer, because in reality, how many how to squat videos are there on the internet, or how to put knee sleeves on? I could probably do like a legit how to put elbow sleeves on, but eh. I want to do... I want to do how-to's and stuff for interesting things that I'd have to research that I can't think off the top of my head. So I'll have to just figure stuff out. But thank you for watching this video. Sorry it wasn't as cinematic or awesome or whatever as some of my other clips are with a bunch of b-roll and stuff. Uh, I think I've gotten a little lazy since I've gotten all these vacation days for December. So yeah, I'll get, I'll get it. I promise I'll get it. <laughs> I'm excited because this is the last thing. I'm excited because I'm pretty sure I'm getting a camera lens for Christmas. I'm not too sure though. It's either going to be one of three lenses. Uh, it's going to either be the 32 millimeter f1.4 EFM lens that I had before. It's going to be the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens with the EF adapter or it's going to be the 50 1.4 with the EF adapter. So I don't know. Uh, Personally, if I could get one of the 50s, even the 1.8 or 1.4, I wouldn't care. I think I'd like it a little better because it'd be equivalent to like an 80 or 85, which would be great for B-roll. But I'm not sure. We'll see. I just know I'm getting a lens and I'm excited for it. So Christmas, hurry up. <laughs> also, my girlfriend's present is 
very nice. Hopefully she'll like it. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to give it away just in case she still decides to watch some of my videos. So, babe, if you're watching, I'm not telling you a darn thing. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next how-to video on Friday. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. And stay dynamic strong.